Excellent. What's up guys, welcome back to Paul's Hardware. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different because I'm looking for your feedback. My basic concept here is that I wanna make more videos and in order to do that, I think I need to make another video in a style that's different from the ones that I usually make. Something that's actually a little bit simpler for, any, for me to make on a regular basis, but then also hopefully something that I can do maybe like once a week or maybe once every couple weeks to give you guys a little bit more content, give me the chance to actually show you guys some of the other smaller projects that I might not in the past have actually done videos on just because they were smaller and simpler. Uh, ask you guys directly for feedback, which I'm definitely gonna be doing right now and in a few minutes. And then also just give you guys some updates on ongoing projects and stuff that I kind of have coming down the pipeline. So I am using automatic settings on this camera, but you know what, I don't care. Um, let's start off on the garage with projects I have ongoing. Why can this table here never actually be clean? I don't know. I need to clean off that table because I have some builds that I need to do on it. Right now I'm organizing all of my uh, sound equipment and that kind of stuff because I did get a few new things. Okay, over on the side we have the Praxis Wet Bench. I set this test bed up uh, before I left for Computex and actually this motherboard was not originally the motherboard I was going to use. So a project coming soon is swapping that motherboard out and actually adding a water cooling loop. I think what I want to do with that which could be fun, is taking a lot of the water cooling stuff I have, like I have some old uh, loops and stuff up there, radiators and whatnot, taking these uh, what were originally closed loop coolers and like using the components to make a custom loop on that, I might do that. That could be fun. Anyway, over here we have a pile of too much stuff that I still need to get to. Uh, the GTX 1080 Extreme from Gigabyte, that is coming very, very soon. I also have a GTX 1070 from Zotac. This is an air-cooled uh, Amp Edition 1070. And I think I'm actually going to pit this against uh, EVGA's, I'm sorry, not EVGA's, MSI's Seahawk. Because so I'll do a water-cooled versus air-cooled on that. Tucked back here in the corner, hiding because I, would, I wasn't sure if I was able to show it yet, is the GTX 1060. So, of course, content coming on that as well. Still can't talk about that yet. I just can't tell you. Everyone go watch uh, Kyle's rap about the NDA for that. It was awesome. Uh, there's Arctic Panther, you know, just sitting there. I've been playing Overwatch out here from time to time, which is a lot of fun. And I think that's all for out in the garage. Here's the dining room. Believe it or not, it's not a chaotic mess. There's some stuff on the table there, but it's mostly clean. This table over here, real quick though, is a, sort of a table of shame. It's, it's just clutter. Clutter and storage. Actually, this is mainly where the dogs get fed. It's the dog food, and, and mostly this is dog stuff and everything. Uh, but this I'm going to come back to. So this will be my actual project for today, which is a fairly simple project. But this is my wife's old computer, the one that's being replaced by Hotbox. And uh, I'm going to be handing this down to my oldest sister. Or handing it up, since she's older than me. Anyway, I'll come back to that, and I'm just going to reconfigure it real quick and make sure it's okay to hand off. Oh my god, my desk is terrible. You'd think I would have gotten things a little bit more organized in this, but no, I'm not even going to show you that anymore. Let's look over here. Look at my wife's desk. Look how, look how nice and fairly organized it is. All right, so first off, I wanted to show you guys that yes, Hotbox is in use. Has been in use for a good month now. Uh, my wife has been using it. She originally started off playing Doom on it, and now she's been playing all kinds of Overwatch, and she's gotten me into Overwatch as well. She's using my Sennheiser uh, headset because she likes how comfortable it is and all that good stuff, and that they're not closed back design. Uh, anyway, she has a 24... Uh, bleh, 2560 by 1440 monitor there and a 1080 next to it and she actually uses this for a dual configuration so she has the gaming system over here of course hotbox and then she has a work laptop and she swaps those back and forth so you might notice there's tons of cables and stuff going on back here so another project that I want to get done uh, once hotbox is finished is do a different setup here for my wife to um, do a, just do a ton of cable management back there make things a lot cleaner and everything, and I think that will help out a lot. The only other thing I wanted to show you guys is um, that yes, Hotbox does need some work because if you can't tell, the uh, coloration in the tubing has gone clear. If you guys watched the Hotbox video, I had two different types of, uh, of dye for the, for the coolant, and I accidentally used both. I did not intentionally use both. I joked about it in the video, but I put the other one in, and what happened was they canceled each other out. The video, what you saw at the end of the video, it's it was that color. And then I came out the next morning and I was like, what happened to the color? It just all went away. It doesn't seem to be affecting cooling or anything like that, and I have been keeping an eye on it. Um, the, the system is very stable and everything right now, but uh, yeah, I definitely need to update that. Also, the um, LED lights 
came unplugged or something like that too. So anyway, yes, obviously, obviously, hopefully, still some work to be done on this. But fortunately, I did get confirmation from EK. They were super busy with the launch of the, like the GTX 1080 and 1070 and the RX 480. But they have followed up and they are sending me um, a few more parts and adapters and stuff so I can reconfigure and get stuff back the way I wanted it. So there is more coming on the Hotbox build. Uh, you, you guys just going to have to stay tuned for that. Okay, moving on to my actual project that I need to get done this morning, at least before I go to uh, Steve's party. Steve's having a party. I'm going to Steve's party. Anyway, uh, this is my wife's old computer. It's orange, as you can maybe tell. There's a theme with the computers I built for her. Uh, it's a Z68 Extreme 4 Gen 3 motherboard from ASRock. It is a 3570K in there, I believe, Intel Core i5. And uh, I think it's got 8 gigs, maybe 16 gigs of memory. And um, whenever I take a system, an old system that's already been in use, and I'm setting up as a hand-me-down, uh, there's three basic steps that I go through. One is checking which hardware is going to go and which hard hardware is going to stay. So you might notice there used to be graphics card in here. I have pulled that out because it, my uh, wife used this to game. My sister, who I'm going to be handing this down to, is not much of a gamer, so she doesn't really need the graphics card in there. Granted, it's going to be a large system considering there's no graphics card for what she's using it for, but hey, um, it's going to work, so no worries there. Apart from that, um, once I've gotten the hardware removed and have, have it set up the way I want it as far, as far as hardware goes, of course I will give it a thorough cleaning, so I'm going to be handling stuff like these uh, fans, which have been in use for quite some time and have gotten uh, not terribly dusty, but they definitely could use a bit of cleaning off. I might just remember, this is an orange LED strip I have on there, and I might just pull that off of there because it's getting a little bit faded over the years. Uh, and then the third phase is, of course, the actual uh, data management, basically going into the operating system, making sure everything's backed up that it needs to be backed up. There's also an SSD and a mechanical drive in there. So I'm probably just going to pull the mechanical drive in there and swap it in with a something that's just already formatted. And then the SSD, I need to load up, uh, get into Windows, Make sure everything's you know saved, if there's anything saved on the desktop or my documents or whatever. And then I think I'm just going to do the Windows 10 upgrade and force my sister to use Windows 10. Should be exciting. Let's get to work. So there you go guys, some updates on the projects I have going on. I'm really excited to get my wife's system finished off actually, and then also get to work on her desk setup. I think that will be a fun video. And I want to actually do my setup too, as well, after that. But um, that's further down the road. Anyway, let me know, of course, if you like this video, because that's really the point of me making this video, is to get your feedback on if it's okay if I continue to make videos like this in the future. If you want more content from me, but you're okay with the camera work being a little bit shaky and the automatic settings and all that good stuff, hit the thumbs up button and let me know with a comment down below. If not, well hey, let me know that too, because I'm always interested in your feedback. In the meantime, thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos or all the stuff I, upcoming that I already talked about, and we'll see you very soon in the next video.